Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. If you've ever wondered how to quickly make your text italic in Figma, maybe for that perfect design emphasis or to call out an important word, today's tutorial is exactly what you need. By the end of this video, you'll know not just how to italicize your text in Figma, but why it's useful and how you can use this feature to make your designs clearer and more dynamic. Let's jump right in. So first things first, go ahead and open up Figma on your computer. You can use either the desktop app or the web version, whichever you're most comfortable with. If you're already logged in, just hop into the file or project you're working on. If not, take a moment to sign in. Figma's workspace is super intuitive, but if you're new here, don't worry. The main thing you'll want to look out for is the canvas in the center and the toolbar running along the top. Now let's create some text. In the toolbar, you'll see the letter T icon, that's your text tool. Go ahead and click on it, or you can press the shortcut key T on your keyboard, which is a little time saver. Then just click anywhere on your canvas to start typing. Type out whatever sample text you'd like, maybe your project title, a favorite quote, or just italic text, so you'll remember what you're practicing. The beauty here is that you can use any words. What matters is seeing how they look transformed. Once you've typed your text, take a look over to the right-hand side of the screen. This is your properties panel, and this is where the magic happens. Under the typography section, you'll see all kinds of controls for customizing your text, like font family, size, weight, and of course, the style. If you haven't changed anything yet, your text probably says regular here. That just means it's the standard, upright version of your chosen font. To make your text italic, click on the dropdown that currently says regular or something similar. You'll see a list of different styles pop up. One of them should be italic or sometimes oblique, depending on the font you're using. Some fonts have a true italic style, which gives you that classic slanted look, while others might only offer a simulated version. If you can't find italic in the list, you might want to try switching to a more common typeface like Roboto or Lotto, since not every font supports italics. Select italic, and voila, your text immediately slants to the right, giving it that distinctive, elegant emphasis. This small change can do wonders for your design. Italicizing is great for highlighting quotes, foreign words, or anything you want to stand out without shouting. Think of italics as a gentle nudge that says, hey, pay a little extra attention to this, instead of a loud shout like bold text. And that's really all there is to it once you've chosen the italic style you're done. Sometimes it's the simplest tools that give you the most control. If you want to play around further, you can easily combine italics with color changes or different weights to fit your design's vibe. So there you have it, a quick and easy way to make your text italic in Figma. I hope you found this walkthrough helpful. If you did, please hit that like button, and if you have any questions or tips of your own, leave a comment down below, I love hearing your thoughts. And don't forget to subscribe for more design tutorials, tips, and tricks every week. See you in the next video.